the cable TV distribution warrant article. Mr. Welch. Mr. Chairman, we have, we're working on a draft of that. Um, the figure that we have come up with is to increase from 25 percent to 40 percent mm -hmm. yeah. of the fees to be placed in the account. And our finance director, I, I requested her to do a six-year study on what happens with that change. Oh. Because we're, we're afraid that it may deteriorate over that period of time. But as long as the expenses don't increase and we have no major breakdowns that we have to provide things for, uh, we should be all right over the six-year period without any changes or increases. All we have to do is convince Rusty to take comp. Second page shows you. Thank you. To take what? Comp, Thank you. Thank you. Shows the six-year. Well, if they go out of business, they're always anyhow. So. Oh, all right. Wow. You're a brave woman, Christy. Well, her her analysis indicates that we'll be about between thirty and forty thousand dollars in the, in the uh, black mm -hmm. in each of the six years. Now, mm -hmm. that's as I said. The caveat is that we don't have any major increases, right. Right. and no more increases from anyone else. Right. <coughs> if that happens, then we're going to have to divert more money. And like what we do when the uh, cable committee comes into us to ask to buy equipment. The SAU 90 will be notifying us they in give advance. Us, they give us a list when they request their okay. funding. Uh, the bad part of all this is, is well, I'm not sure it's bad, but certainly the, the, the hurdle to be, to be surmounted here is that this must be approved by town meeting. Yeah. If it is not, then we're going to be in the position of having to cut the school off from all assistance. Ooh. So, not nice. Well, I, I just I want to point out the obvious that we don't want to get to the point of having right. a problem, right. but we need to. Uh, people need to understand that if if we're going to do something, we need mm -hmm. to do it right. And if we're going to continue to do something with an obligation that everybody said we should, mm -hmm. then we need to increase the fees in order to do it, yeah. so that and we can honor our commitments. See where it's going. Yes, it's it's very obvious where it's, it's not going. Not a big deal. Yeah, we'll get you a completed warrant article uh, for your next mm -hmm. meeting, so that <laughs> can then go to the. Uh, Budget if you committee. approve it, it can then go to the uh, budget, budget committee Good. for their Good. review. Questions, no, right, Mr. Uh, Wardell? Yeah. Other towns, sir, that fee, they put it, how much do they put in general fund? How much do they put into the, I, I think, I think the answer is, I think there are some towns that put 100% of that fee into their cable TV station. There are, I believe that's true, but there are also some towns that put 100% of it to reduce taxes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, it's interesting because Rusty's not paying anything to reduce the taxes because <laughs> he doesn't take Comcast. What I'm saying is that the, the people who have Comcast yes. are paying to reduce the taxes for people who don't have Comcast. Yeah, and is that a legitimate uh, process to be going through? Or should it be that, that it's a cable fee, that it's a fee to go to the cable TV? That's all I'm saying. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I can see it looks nice and it helps with the tax rate, but there are some people yeah. who are, I will shoot, contribute to my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, it's, it's, it's really not a fair, yeah. that's, that's the point I want to make. Good. Mr. Bridal, counterpoint. <laughs> <laughs> Drill down. I don't have Comcast, <laughs> so I don't pay it. <laughs> Mrs. Wilson. No, I like the concept of 40%. That's good. Mr. I like mm -hmm. your counterpoint. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Two more we'll have a completed out of article for you next week, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Okay. So um, moving on 